Hello again. Welcome back to Risa's Attic. All right, this is part two of my Tuesday morning house mouse haul. Now, I, I did uh, the house mouse uh, videos in the first one, but I am going to do some additional th uh, uh, things with the uh, the stamps in this video. Um, I was looking when I went to um, Tuesday morning. I was looking in particular to find this premium card stock. It is the 110 pound, and I've used it, and I really, I, I like it in that it, um, what I like about it, it is very thick feeling. It feels so much more substantial when you're working with it. And in my opinion, when I use my alcohol markers on it, even though it's a, a, a heavyweight uh, cardstock, it, um, it must be more compact than like water, uh, watercolor paper. It, it it doesn't like suck and bleed so much with my um, markers. And I do have, um, no, actually I don't have an example of that. But I did get the this, and it was two dollars and nineteen cent. And I, then I got some regular cardstock here. It's 65 pound weight. And it is a white pearl, pearly kind of uh, finish to it. I don't know if that's going to affect the way the um, alcohol markers adhere to it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll do another um, video on those. But one of the other things that I got today that I had been looking for for quite a while was We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press. I wanted something smaller for my desk. I am in a very small bedroom, 10 by 10. I have my desk right here that also has the computer on it and I need to have everything basically right around me because there's not, I mean, there's room to put things in other places, but um, I'm trying to downsize everything, really. This I got for, um, I think it was $14.99, and I have really enjoyed using it today. It comes, of course, with the press, and you put it right down on your, uh, paper, you press it. I'll show you in just a minute. It has this piece of foam in it in the event that um, you're using clear sticker, I mean, clear stamps. You will need sometimes to put the foam on it for the, uh, the clear stamps to get a good impression. However, with these um, house mouse forgot to put my um oh poo I'll just keep a watch on my phone um I, I like to be careful and not get over 15 minutes but if you'll look at this um stamp you can see the detail I mean, it is very intricate. It's the gray rubber. And um, I want to show you how well my uh, new stamp press is, is working, my stamp platform. It comes with two of the, um, it's called a rare earth magnet. They're extremely strong. And the reason why these have little tags on them is if you get these together by chance, they are very difficult to get apart. So um, it's wise to put a little flag on your magnets.
because they are they're very hard to get apart so it came with two and I had to so here is my little house mouse and they have little they look like they've got little uh, Christmas uh, package uh, bows on their head so I'm putting this down and it comes right up and I'm going to look at it closely to see if because in in your uh, your step your stamp platform here on the top you do have grid lines and you can look at it and see if it is lined up pretty good and it does look that way to me so i am going to do mine in uh, the memento rich cocoa ink i'm going to move this out of the way for a second And put this under here and I'm doing it in the rich cocoa um, memento inks the reason why I I'm transitioning into memento inks is because I really do enjoy using the alcohol markers uh, alcohol markers will not work with regular stamp ink so this memento is um, I can't remember exactly what makes it different, but it doesn't fade if you use it with watercolor paint or the alcohol markers. So here I go, putting the ink down on my little house mouse stamp. Now, one of the things is I can't really tell real well how much ink that has on it. So, you're gonna take it by faith, and I'm going to lay, line up the little holes. It doesn't wiggle. It goes straight down. There you go, okay. Now, on the others, I did them two or three times. I, I did, I've done some already. I did some in a white ink. I'm going to show you that. Uh, there's the brown ink. That's what I'm doing right now, the rich cocoa with the memento. And this was the London Fog Gray uh, memento that I used. I'm going to go over that with you in just a second. Okay, let's pull that up. And it looks really good for the very first time. And I am not going to go over it again. I'm just going to clean it. I, I have um, baby wipes. And I am going to just clean it with my baby wipes. And This was some of the 110 pound weight cardstock, as well as the ones that I've already done. Now this wasn't, this one was craft paper. But I've got a little bit of stuff I wanna say about each one of these. So there you are, my new We Are Memory Keepers stamp platform. I'm so excited to have it. And I'm just going to lay that together like that. And when I get a minute, I'll clean it all up and put everything back together. All right, we're at nine minutes. So I want to get this done quickly. Um, here's the stamp. This is on the good 110-pound paper. And I have used an assortment of, I've used both Copics, I've used uh, Windsor Newton alcohol markers. I've also used, bought these today, the alcohol markers from um, Tuesday morning. I guess it's their brand. It's called Firefly. I like these a lot even though they don't have a brush tip. They have a bullet tip and a, um, a wide chisel tip. I like these. 
I I purchased the other day some Master's Touch from, excuse me, I keep getting it off uh, screen. I purchased these from Hobby Lobby and I am not pleased with them because they're so juicy. They just run everywhere. They run far outside even when you're being um, careful not to, to go to the edge with the tip of your brush. They're still uh, they're so juicy they just they just go everywhere and if you can look at this um, you can see how far and and I know probably 50% of it is that I don't know what I'm doing half the time so um, I know that that has a, a, a bearing on it but um, they, they are they're just too wet for me and I also um, used on this one um, what color? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here it is. These are Spectrum Noir Sparkle. I did his little or her little bow with it. And again, it was bleeding too far out, as you can see. This one I did with, oh goodness, why didn't I leave these out? I did with the Spica. This is the pink water-based pigment sparkly marker. His ended up the prettiest. I like him. I used a very, all of these are alcohol markers and I love the way they turned out. Even though I know I didn't do them properly, they're still very cute. Um, I put a, a pink tummy on him and he, he's not even showing his little pink tummy. But they're just so cute. Look at their little expressions. And this little guy was showing us his little pink tummy. So I made his little pink tummy and his little pink face. And this little guy, I'm just so pleased with with all of these now this was on cardstock craft paper and it's it's floppy I used I also purchased a squid ink today I've really been trying to figure find a squid a, a white ink that works for me and I used this and this took three times, three impressions, uh, loading up my stamp three times. And it finally came out really well. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was looking at it, I ran my finger over it and white came off. And, and you see there's still some white coming off. See that? Yeah. see the white is coming off so what I did um, and that's probably been 35 40 minutes ago but I also hit it with my heat gun and it still is coming off so I, I figure it's the nature of the beast and um, it's not a lot it doesn't seem to be actually smearing so it's not a big deal all right, thank you again for stopping in and, and listening to what I have to say about my adventures in stamping and coloring. I hope you um, have a great day, and thank you again for uh, spending some time with me. Bye-bye.